Hi there, I'm Nick. I'm with Violent here. G'day. And, uh, we've got uh, something else to show you. First of all, uh, we've got this attachment into the laptop. This is a uh, Realtek based uh, DVB T tuner with uh, yeah matching antenna. And uh, we're going to take it out over here. Stop the laptop being rained on. And uh, I'm going to be the one holding the antenna. Balan will introduce the software side of it, the hard side of it. We'll start here with the terminal. This is actually running in OS X. Nick, can you tell us a little bit about the hardware setup here in terms of the computer? Hello, the, uh, it's just a MacBook Air. It's the uh, second generation one, I'd say. It's the 11 inch, 11.6 inch version, so it's pretty light and uh, the processor is good enough for this application. It seems to be working quite well. You'll see in a second. So we've got here in terminal some of the output of the previous run of the Bore IP server. We've set up GNU Radio on OS X by installing uh, the Xcode tools and the command line tools and following the very helpful hints put on the ultra cheap SDR forum published by Alain de Car Caroli. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. So you can just do a couple of these steps. Install GNU Radio, set up some other things, change a couple of little uh, lines of code here and there. And then what we'll do is once you get GR Baz and you run the Bore IP server, we'll start that up. There we go, it's running here on the port. And what we're going to do is it's currently set so that it patches into and uses GNU's radio, GNU Radio's hardware uh, interfaces and then presents them on the network. So for instance, you can, in Wine, start the file manager, install HDSDR, and run it with the XDIO plugin, and it'll actually connect back to the local host, as you see here, back into the Bore IP server, and we put in the hint that to connect to the Realtek device. If we quickly flip back to the terminal, then we can see that we've had this connection here and it's set up the device, the usual output. We've got verbose mode on so it's actually dumping out a lot more information about the sorts of uh, blocks it's found that it can hook on. The Bore IP server for Linux and Mac is quite interesting because the way it works is that you don't necessarily need to write any code, you just need to produce a GRC flow graph and the Bore IP server will dynamically load it. So here we have the flow graph that's actually been loaded. We've got the real text source on the left feeding through to the uh, UDP sync which has been Bore IP enhanced and it'll <coughs> automatically, bless you, excuse me, find the appropriate um, hooks for setting the frequency, the gain, sampling rate and so forth and do that automatically so you don't need to write any code. The one for the USRP using the legacy interfaces here and a couple of variables you can set if you open them up they actually contain lambda functions to call the appropriate Python code and then it all works. So fingers crossed if we switch back to HDSDR running under Wine, it's connected to the device we've got a frequency here for the CB frequencies if we hit start I'll think for a second. The Australian CB frequencies. Just for those who aren't aware of it, these are the Australian UHF CB frequency. And, um, oh, it looks like we've got a signal here. Oh, oh no, that's some sort of control chart or something. If we put the antenna up in the air. Oh, here we go. Got some intermittent transmissions. Well, they were all happening before. Here we go, oh. something there. Oh, it's just disappeared again. Elusive. Oh, that's the control channel. It's there, 76. Are we at the right frequency? Yeah, yeah, I think it's 476-600. It's just here before, right nearby. Zoom in. There we go. Maybe that kid's finished. <laughs> Gone to bed. He's gone to bed. Oh, there's something. But you can use HDSDI as you normally would, and considering this is running on a 
MacBook Air, it's actually performing quite well. Hey, maybe I should get my, my radio and uh, key up. <laughs> but purely as a proof of concept, it um, it does in fact work. So, just to recap, we've got HDSDR running hooked up to the Realtek device on a MacBook Air, running HDSDR under one, and. Um, I think it's just a matter of holding the antenna a bit higher. But yeah, all right. Thanks, Nick. The antenna holder. <laughs> 73, see you later. 73 is goodbye.